All right, Handy, let's crack on. Who is our final guest in the series? Patrick, our next guest's razor-sharp wit has intimidated some of the most famous people in the world. But this week, she went out of her way to do something extraordinary for charity. She's appearing on your show, Patrick. <laughs> yes, Handy, thanks for that. Please welcome the one and only, Miss Ruby Wax! Ruby, can I just say before we go yes. any further, we, I'm sitting I'm, admiring your pussy here. Yeah. It's... I came here to stroke it and that's what I'm doing. No, in America, when we feel love for Irish people, we always give them a dead cat. <laughs> it was upstairs. But, well, it the, was, it the, was upstairs in the display. The cat was upstairs? It was sitting like this. It's yeah. a very lovely thing. So what, should, should I accept that on behalf, this is, on behalf of my people? We would like you to have. <laughs> It's a stiffy for you. Show me swax. <laughs> I like that the ears have been chewed off. I, I, I kind of like that, that as well. Do you think I think a rigor mortis is coming back. Do you think it's real? It was it real. Is, it's yeah. been stuffed, along with everything else up there. Yeah? <laughs> if you don't win an Oscar, just put okay. it on the display. Very, <laughs> Very lovely. Hang on to that chair. Just glue the ear back on it. <laughs> it's as good as new. Uh, on behalf of the people of Ireland, uh, welcome. Thank we, not, you. we now have a proper St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. And on behalf of my people. How good, how good is this? We have a fiddle player, we have a yank, we've got drink. It's, it's a cliche. I don't know what St. Patrick's Day is, to tell you the truth, but it's a lovely thing being here for, whatever uh, you people do uh, on uh, that day. You wear a. What do you do? Uh, uh, Go to the end of the rainbow and look for your little pot of gold. Yes. Is that what you do? Is that what you do? Oh, no, what we do or you glue, is... glue the armpits to the sides of the body and then just do some fetal kicking. <laughs> oh, it's very lovely. So, are, are, are we treating you okay? Are you having a good St. Patrick's I, Day? I only came out of that thing, the institution. I know. Um, and you know <laughs> how crazy I am. Before we go any further, i got to say, right, congratulations to this woman on Fame Academy. What a star yeah. she was. It's great. With such pity, every night you would look at me with like, like something, it was like a dead animal had crawled out there and you would look at me like I'm, you know, pity was in but, your but eyes. I never, you, honestly though, you... No, like, there was no chance, no chance, nothing. I had a dinner party arranged for Saturday night, I had one pair of undies, I was out. So you thought you were literally going to be in, in there In, and I, I thought I was just going to, you know, frisbee my ass across that furniture and straight back out again. Did, did you see this? I did. I what, what did you think, think I could Amazing. join when your sister's out of commission? What? I can, yeah. You know, yeah. I can make that oh, noise I think that you make that. Oh, I can do that. Oh. <laughs> you know when they do that thing with their throats? Uh, what? It sounds like they're throwing up a little bit the chorus when they go, oh. You know that. Oh, yeah. Whoa, it's an, whoa. Ar an Irish. Breath, like. whoa. Oh, that's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think this could be the new Andrea. Yeah. <laughs> well, honestly, like, I, I was out in Dublin last night. The only thing anybody wants to talk about is you, taxi driver, you, cabin crew in the plane, how's Ruby, yeah. you know, St. Patrick's Day. They've cancelled the war, for Christ's sake. I know, I know. But so I apparently really Saddam's a fan. Saddam. <laughs> Are you going to sing for Saddam? I, they should have sent me over during Afghanistan because I could have sung and they would have come out of those caves. <laughs> Hands up. Man. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I want to sing for Saddam. Free Saddam. That was my well, motto. That's how crazy that's I was. That's what you said all week. Free Saddam. Free Saddam. Yeah. He hasn't even been caught yet, but no. free him anyway. <laughs> no, I was... Um, and then I got into a jag where I remember I was every morning, well, I don't know if you were watching, every morning I was playing to Prince Charles in my mind. Yeah, this, this was a thing because... I kept thinking Prince Charles might be watching and I would show him how, like, neat I washed my undies and folded them <laughs> and made my bed. And if I came to Highgrove, I wouldn't need a lot of cleaning women. But you were actually, you were actually obsessed, <laughs> obsessed with, with Prince Charles. Obsessed with Prince Charles, but... You, you dedicated a song to him. Dedicated, um, what was I singing? Conchita. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I did. You need to picture somebody on top of you when you sing a song like that, and I pictured Charles. And, and were you picturing the Prince of Wales doing the business? Mounting me. <laughs> and, then, and then crowning me, in that order. What? 
<laughs> um, I think what we should do is uh, we should actually take a look oh, at no. the good Don't lady me performing. Me Don't make me Sharon, you, you can be the teachers, okay? You can actually let us know what this is like, okay? Here we go. This. Have a look here, okay? This is Ruby Wax doing her stuff on Fame Academy. Have a look at this. Oh, 